Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again, and today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my first impressions of MapleStory. Uh, I originally was kind of pushed a little bit away from this game because it felt like the things were a little bit too chibi for me, but I really do like the voxel style combat. If anyone has ever played like Tree of Savior, I can't say the combat is like that specifically, but the style of the game, I guess you could say, is kind of similar to that. Um, so with that being said, I just want to talk a little bit about my character. We're playing a wizard. Um, one thing I want to state off right away is I can't really explain if the game is pay to win. I know a million people are going to ask that question. I just started playing it. But I can tell you that respecking, which is one of the main things in free-to-play games they try to take advantage of you in, is completely free. You can literally just respect whenever you want allocate your points differently uh, so that's one thing that's really really nice unfortunately one thing i have noticed is that it seems like the skills seem pretty poorly balanced from what i can tell um hopefully that'll be changing in like the near future but it seems like for example if you look at flame wave flame wave if i remove it to level one flame wave does 175 percent fire which is essentially the same damage it's more it's like three times the damage of chain lightning is going to cost more spirit but at the same time is less spirit because of like the animation time which makes chain lightning pretty much garbage uh now like i said things may change later on but uh i don't know like it just seems a bit weird spamming a damage over time as like one of your main damage sources but you know nonetheless i'm sure other classes are probably designed a bit better okay so um inventory system seems pretty simple um, I haven't really been, f like, my inventory is not really full yet, I'm only level 17, but it's been pretty clean, you have, like, a different bag for everything, which has been making it kind of nice for how it seems, for just sorting. Overall, it seems pretty nice. Uh, one thing that is kind of annoying is every time I mount, it's telling me, like, I think you have to pay real money for this, it's telling me to, like, basically pick one of these two options, that's something that's kind of annoying. Uh, the duck makes some funny noises if you press control. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this dungeon, since dungeons can be soloed, I believe, so I figured I might as well show you with some gameplay. Restore the garden to its former beauty. Weed the toxic plants. Okay. Sometimes you have to burn land down to get rid of the weeds. Wait, what? They want me to flamethrower? How do I shoot the flamethrower, though? I have no idea how to use this. What the fuck? I don't want this weapon. I'm gonna just deep some. Space bar? I use space bar to do it? Is it like OP? Wait, space bar is jump! <laughs> Get out of here! I don't want this thing! It's F. Okay. F. We'll try one more time. F. F. That's OP! Okay, let's go again. F. Oh, why did it disappear? Do I have to take this one? To be honest, though, I can just kill them regularly. Like, I don't have to use that thing. Defeat the monsters who have poisoned the garden. Okay. So these mobs are stationary, but I'm guessing they're going to hit pretty hard if they actually hit you. Oh, not all of them are stationary, never mind. I guess there's one advantage to Chain Lightning, though, is that it does, like, hit in a really weird way, because it, it's just basically Chain Lightning. But I guess I can't bash all the skills yet. Oops. Now, uh, the previous dungeon I ran, the mobs were a lot more aggressive, so uh, don't feel that everything is going to be stationary either. Oh, 
Oh, oh shit. One other nice thing, I don't know if you noticed, is you can kind of grab onto, like, anything. Uh, from what it seems like, which is just really cool for dodging and stuff like that. I wonder if we can, like, outrange them. I think we can. Is that a stationary boss? I've never fought a stationary boss before. This is like kind of awkward. So he's just not doing anything? I'm gonna like zoom in so I can see. Okay, summon summon two bean sprouts. The other boss side that I guess I should have shown that video. Oh, I was gonna say it was a lot more fun than this guy. So that's pretty much the combat of the game. Uh, the combat is, like I said, it's pretty nice. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna feel a lot better, I'm sure, once you're like in a more open world scenario rather than limited to like six voxels or eight blocks to fight. Um, yeah, I mean, so far I'm just gonna play the game and see how much I enjoy it. I don't know how much time I'm gonna be spending. Uh, it really depends on what my schedule is like. But so far, I'm just going to keep checking the game out. I don't think there is uh, a class advancement yet, so that's one thing. I don't know how much content there is in the game towards, like, the end game. But the leveling is honestly fun, and the game is free to play. I recommend if you guys are bored, just go ahead and pick it up and try it. It literally costs nothing. Um, it's 100% free to play. So I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. I hope that um, I see characters that are more developed than this person in the near future <laughs> and i'm gonna see you guys all later don't forget if you liked the video please feel free to like share and subscribe and remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv pox take care everybody